The biggest value bet I had, well, it doesn't sound that juicy, but it was a horse at about $15. But the most wonderful thing about it was it was my horse. I was in it with about five of my mates from Adelaide. It went over the jumps at Morfordville, jumped at $15. And the best thing about it is it won by about 14 or 15 links. So there was absolutely no stress down the back straight. What a feeling. If I had to pick one bet type for the rest of my life, I'd be tough to choose between a same race multi and a mystery trifecta with the favorite involved. I'd probably have to go to same race multi because I'm a bit of a coward when it comes to my betting. I like to split my horses up and have at least a couple finishing in the top four. Nothing better than a group quaddy sitting around with your mates. You've won a few races leading up to it. You've got a few hundred in the kitty. You put your quaddy on, then go out in the first leg and always nail the final three. It's always the way with a group quaddy, but geez, they're good fun. Uh, the post-race expert. You've got a group together, things are going well, you're betting with your mates in your syndicate, and all of a sudden, old mate in the corner is very, very quiet. As his thing flashes home to win at the end, then he puts his phone up to your face and the money's gone in his account, gone against the group, the old post-race expert. Shocking. This is a real conundrum, this one. You've watched the horse last race, it's flashed home the last 200 just to miss out on victory. I'm all about second chances. I'll give the horse one more chance to flash home, but I'll tell you what, if it does it again, back of the field, then races home and misses out, blacklist it. Second time, out. Ah, uh, you blokes parading around race courses with no socks and your pants rolled up. You should be banned from every race course in Australia and worldwide. Who wants to have stinky, sweaty feet when you're trying to have a great day out at the races? Fellas, put some socks on. My favourite Caulfield Cup, I'm going to go all the way back to 1997. Might and Power, Whitish Barrier, pretty much led the race from start to finish with about 600 to go. Not sure what the result was going to be, but gee, what about the turn of foot on the home straight to win it by about eight lengths. What a start. My favourite Everest. No, your first time's always your best. 2017, Red Zell, 10 million in the pocket. And wouldn't you know, back to back the next year to put 10 mil in the other pocket. What a race, what a horse.